Chinese calligraphy is an oriental art. It is very much like painting. It uses Chinese characters to communicate the spiritual world of the artist. Just as 1,000 persons will have as many faces, 1,000 persons will have as many differences in handwriting. Through the medium of form, way of handling the brush, presentation, and style, calligraphy as a work of art conveys the moral integrity, character, emotions, aesthetic feelings, and culture of the artist to readers affecting them by the power of appeal and the joy of beauty. Not only is there beauty in Chinese calligraphy, but there is also beauty in other forms of writing in the world. Thai calligraphy is another form of writing in Asia. Thai writing has more curly and rounded figures, is softer looking, and is simple in its form. Although Chinese and Thai are both from Asia, they are totally different in how you write out the characters and the way you decide to write them out on the paper. Thai writing is a little more casual than Chinese calligraphy. We do not really use fancy brushes or inks, worry about our posture or think about our breaths that we take. Just like everyday writing in America, that's how you would write in Thailand. Before you begin to write your Chinese calligraphy, you need the necessary tools. Traditional Chinese calligraphy inks are made from sticks of solid ink. By using a mixing stone, adding a little water, then rubbing the solid ink on the bottom of the ink stone until the desired amount of ink has been released, an almost unlimited range of hues and intensities can be created. Although liquid inks have been produced in recent years, traditional calligraphers still prefer the sticks because of their unlimited shelf, stability, and ease of transportation. Chinese calligraphy brushes come in a variety of sizes and are often sold in sets of varying sizes to ensure a calligrapher will have a brush size suited to his writing purpose. Chinese calligraphy brushes usually have bamboo handles with sheep and pony hair bristles. In some cases, cow horn or bone is used on higher end calligraphy brushes. Although rice papers are more traditional, in recent times a number of papers have come into use for Chinese calligraphy. Other types of traditional calligraphy papers include paper made from bamboo, bamboo itself, hemp, rice, and wheat. The most desirable Chinese calligraphy paper is made from tartar wing celtics. Chinese calligraphy is written with a bent wrist. The palm is cut and the brush is held between the index, middle finger, and thumb with stabilization provided by the ring finger. The pinky doesn't touch the brush. The brush is held vertically perpendicular to the paper not at an angle as with European scripts and calligraphy. When creating Chinese calligraphy, the entire arm moves, creating strokes and styles unique to each calligrapher. When you begin to write, you need to start writing the Chinese character left to right and then up to down. When you write out your Chinese phrase, you make sure to write it up to down and left to right. With each stroke, you need to breathe in when you place your brush down on the paper and then breathe out and move your pen to make your stroke. Then breathe in when you lift up your pen. Do not press your pen too hard onto the paper. You want to be very gentle and let the pen guide you. Thai writing is very different from the Chinese calligraphy. While Chinese calligraphy is more horizontal and vertical in the strokes, the Thai alphabet is more rounded and curly. If you're going to write a Chinese character, you need to constantly pick up the brush. But with writing Thai characters, you keep the pen on the paper and never pick it up to make a stroke within a character. Each character is written so you will never pick up the pen unless you make an accent mark. Some letters in the Thai alphabet can be drawn and look like what the meaning is. For instance, Ga Gai, which means chicken, is the first letter in the Thai alphabet and is shaped like the head of the chicken. Younger children, when first learning to write the Thai alphabet, usually use pictures to help them write the letter by tracing the picture. I was always interested in learning how to read and write in different languages. Other than English, the only other language I kind of understood and learned was Thai. 
with Chinese calligraphy, it is interesting to see the beauty behind the writing. I would have never thought that the way you hold the brush, your posture, or even your breathing could affect the way you write. When I am writing Chinese calligraphy, I feel as if my mind is totally blank. I don't think or feel anything, I just let my mind go and wander as I write. I would like to further take my Chinese calligraphy and continue learning different characters and perfecting my strokes. Whenever I feel stressed, I will take a pen and paper and just let all my stress out in each stroke and take the feeling of writing Chinese characteristics and channeling it into my body to let my body relax.